I've been rating anime and comic book physiques for over a year now, and these are the top five comic book physiques of all time from the perspective of an open bodybuilding division. Which means that these characters not only have an amazing amount of muscle mass, but they also have really good proportions, really good conditioning, and amazing symmetry. And it should be noted that all the physiques of these characters are coming from the comics. And really it's just from a culmination of all the different comics. Because obviously their physique depends on a lot of factors like the artist drawing them or the year they were made. So without further ado, let's jump into number five, Thanos. So obviously this guy has a crazy amount of muscle mass. His arms are bigger than my whole body. He's super wide and super thick. And he's got a pretty decent V taper. And he really has the shape of a modern day open bodybuilder. He's got a great all around physique. But the Infinity Gauntlet's not saving him from being beat by our next competitor, who is the Incredible Hulk. This guy is absolutely massive. And even in the earliest live renditions of him, he was played by a professional bodybuilder, Lou Frigno. The only thing is that his proportions are just a touch off in some of these shots. Like his chest may be a little small compared to his arms or his waist just a little too wide But his muscle mass is so off the charts and he's so well conditioned I had to place him on this list and speaking of his proportions the next competitor also has a similar issue But not quite as bad so coming in at number three is the one and only juggernaut this guy's muscle mass is absolutely off the charts He's got muscles on top of his muscles he doesn't really have a great V taper, but man, his conditioning is crazy. This guy definitely deserves to be on this list. And before we get to our top two, we have three honorable mentions. The first up is Bane. I think you knew this was coming. This guy's got so much muscle mass. And look at those traps and look at the vascularity. The only reason he didn't actually make the top five was because he had the same kind of thing that Juggernaut and the Hulk have, except a lot worse. It really throws off his proportions. The upper part of his upper body just seems to be way too big compared to the rest of his physique. The second honorable mention is Apocalypse. This guy also has muscles for days. It's insane. And originally when I was making this list, he did make the top five. He was coming in at number five, but I just felt like Thanos, the Hulk, and Juggernaut had slightly better proportions and conditioning. And our third honorable mention, Conquest. Now, I really like the shape of this guy's physique. He's got a really nice V taper, really broad shoulders and a thick chest. He was also very close to making the top five. It's just that he got a little out muscled by people like the Hulk and Juggernaut, of course. In our world, I think he would actually do really, really well at the Olympia stage. And yo, if you're enjoying this video, make sure to like and subscribe as it really helps out the channel. Now, let's move on to our top two. And honestly, these two could be switched around very easily depending on the comic that we're looking at. But coming in at number two on my list is Colossus. I actually rated this guy's physique perfectly. I gave him a 40 out of 40, one of the rare ratings I've ever given. He has a really great shape to his physique and like I said, could easily also be number one on this list. He has great conditioning, a great V taper, and honestly, probably the best proportions on this whole list. There's really not much else I could say the only reason that I'm putting him at number two is just because our number one outmuscles him just a touch. Which leads me to our number one physique in all of comics, and that is the one and only Prime. Now I'm not gonna lie, I didn't know about this guy until just recently. One of our followers mentioned him in a comment and I was like, what? Who is this guy? He has the bodybuilding physique. I mean, look at those arms, look at that chest, look at the width of his upper body, and look at the feathering in his legs. And not to mention the calf proportion matches those quads really well. On top of that, he probably has the craziest V taper on this list. And he's got conditioning for days. Look at that vascularity, look at the feathering. It's absolutely insane. You can even see small muscles in the legs like the sartorius that you can almost never see on any character. It's like looking at a jacked anatomy chart. The only thing about his physique that throws me off a little bit is that he has kind of like rich Piana arms. They're almost too big. And in some of these shots, they're probably definitely too big. But if you look at the shots where he's the most proportionate, he has basically a perfect physique for modern day open bodybuilding. These are my top five physiques in all of comic book history. I also went over my top five anime physiques in all of history as well. If you haven't seen that video, make sure to check it out. And do you agree with this list? Let me know in the comments below and make sure to like and subscribe. I'll catch you next time.